Hey everybody, welcome back to Welch's Math Class. We are here to help. And you're in Module 6 and you're working on percentages and you're working particularly on a problem that involves discounts. And so I want to give you some information on how to calculate a discount. The method I'm going to use is, again, the proportion method. Uh, there is an equation method that can be done here. You could ask your uh, instructor in the room if you want to know about the equation method, but we're going to lock in here on the proportion method. The, the proportion that we're going to use is the amount of our discount is going to be set over the original price of what we're buying equals percent over 100. So we've got um, a proportion set up here where one fraction equals another fraction, and that's the model that we're going to work from. Okay, um, and so what we've got is a situation where the regular price of a stereo is $750, but the stereo is on sale for 15% off. It's on sale for 15% off, and we want to try to hit the sale and save some money. Uh, so the question is, work out what the discount and sale price will be. Work out what's the discount going to be, and then what's the sale price going to be. Well, to find the discount, we'll use this proportion model and put our information that we've got here into this to calculate what our discount will be. And after we're done with that, our sale price will actually equal that original price minus whatever the discount is that we figured out. So let's get to work on it and see what we can get done here. So first, let's set up our proportion. Um, of course, 100 goes here. Now, our, our stereo is 15% off, so our 15 is coming here. Remember, don't move the decimal on the 15. Just keep it straight as a 15 right there. My regular price or original price for the stereo is $750. So $750 right here, and this is my unknown. Okay, my unknown uh, up here is my discount. Let's put that down right there. Okay, now you remember how to solve uh, how to solve a proportion right here. Our shortcut method is just to cross multiply and divide. So I use my uh, my handy dandy calculator here and do 750, and I'll multiply that times 15 and hit my equals button, and then I'll come right in behind that and divide that answer by 100. Okay, so I got 112.5. 112.5. Alright, so my discount 112.5. Now, let's put a zero behind that because that's money. That discount is actually money that they're going to take off the price of my stereo. So, my discount is $112.50. $112.50. All right, that's my discount. Now my sale price is going to be my 750. Okay, my original price 750 minus my 11250. We'll do this out longhand. Practice our subtracting decimals a little bit real here, real quick. So my original price minus my discount is going to give me my sale price. Zero minus zero is zero. Uh, that's going to have to go to a 10, that's going to have to go to a 9, that's going to have to go to a 4. Uh, we borrowed off the 5 essentially and put a 9 here and made this a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, decimal point lined up, 9 minus 2 is 7, 4 minus 1 is 3, 7 minus 1 is 6. $637.50. Now, if I just want to check that with my calculator real quick, I'm going to double check my math here and uh, do that subtraction okay 637.50 that's it baby I can still subtract without a calculator what do you think about that now that's cool um, so my stereo that I normally would get for 750 I'm going to be able to get it on sale for 637.50 and that's how you calculate a discount using the proportion method all right, y'all, I hope that's helpful to you. I'm always glad to help. Uh, catch me anytime, uh, live and in person, either in the math lab or in the tutoring center or in my office, and I'll be glad to help you one-on-one uh, -on -one as well. So get back to your problem now. Work on that. Um, do the similar exercise button to get some practice and all of that good stuff, and I'll see you maybe in the hallways. Bye.